Are you starting a business or looking to expand your business with new product offerings? In order to get an image onto a golf towel, we'll show you what you need and how to do it with Epson dye sublimation technology. In order to get your printed image onto a golf towel, here's what you need. A 24 inch wide Epson F570 dye sublimation printer, some scissors, heat transfer tape, a blank golf towel, a heat press 20 by 25 inches or larger, and some craft paper. Once you have the finished design for your golf towel, this is how to send it to the F570 printer. For Windows users, click the print button. Check choose paper source by PDF page size if it is not already checked. Choose properties. Select the media type setting that matches the paper you loaded. If you want to use paper settings that have been set in the printer's control panel, select Use Printer Settings. Click OK, then click Print to send the file to the printer. For Mac users, click the Print button. Check Choose Paper Source by PDF Page Size if it is not already checked. Click Printer. Choose Printer Settings. Select a media type setting that matches the paper you loaded. If you want to use paper settings that have been set in the printer's control panel, select Use Printer Settings. Click Print. And click Print again to send the file to the printer. And now let's cut our paper down to size. And now we're ready to tape our golf towel in place using some heat transfer tape. We'll first line up our towel on the print, grab a few pieces of our heat transfer tape to tape it in place, and now we're ready to press it. Before we place our towel onto the heat press, let's first place a sheet of craft paper. Now we'll bring our towel over, and we're gonna flip it so the paper is on top. We'll place a sheet of craft paper on top of that, and now we're ready to press. We're pressing with medium firm pressure, 400 degrees for 60 seconds, and when the timer is done, it will alert us. When the press is done, open it slowly. Remove your craft paper and place your item off to the side. So now we're just gonna remove our transfer tape. And we're done.